screencast we'll talk about how you can set up restrictions on your iPad so that your son or daughter uh, can't make changes or do things on the iPad that you don't want them to be able to do. You remember in my previous screencast I showed you how to set up your passcode lock. Remember that because that's, that's very important in this process because what you don't want to have is a passcode lock to access the iPad uh, from a standby state to be the same as the passcode you use for changing restrictions because obviously your son or daughter will need to know what the passcode lock is to get into the device but you don't want them to know what the passcode lock is uh, for the restrictions so in the previous uh, screencast I set my passcode lock to be 0000, 000, 000. what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into restrictions and set a passcode lock in there from a restrictions Okay, and I need to make sure that that is a different passcode to the one that I've got for my normal passcode. So to get into restrictions in settings where we are right now, you need to just go down to where it says restrictions and then just tap that and go on and choose to enable restrictions. And so it's going to ask you to enter a restrictions passcode. So here you can choose whatever you want. Okay. So I'm just going to make it nice and simple with 1111. Then it asks you to re-enter the restrictions passcode. Remember that passcode is going to be different to the one that you use to access your device from a standby state. You might want to make a note of that somewhere. Once you're in though, you're now able to set up and allow all manner of different things. You can choose what apps are allowed, and I would recommend looking at installing and deleting apps as being something which is restricted. I'd also look to taking off explicit language. So you just tap what you want to allow, uh, disallow or allow. You might want to block iTunes, for example, so students can't, or your son or daughter can't go on there and look in iTunes. Or you might want to say with well, the camera, or YouTube, or anything else that you want to within that list. You can also look at allowing or disallowing changes related to location settings within different apps. You could turn location services off, for example, or you can change them for any of those different apps that are actually on the iPad. You can also look at ratings, uh, allowable sort of material for media content, such as music and podcasts. You might want those to be clean, so you would turn that off. You might want to only allow films which are of a suitable rating for your son or daughter. So you might want to take your 15s and your 18s off. So go to don't allow films and then tick the ones that you do want to actually allow. Same with TV programs, apps and next in-app purchases. Many apps, particularly games, allow purchases to be made within the actual app. You might get a bonus about a credit within the game or whatever it is. Okay, uh, But it is important that if you are going to let your son or daughter have access to an iTunes account with a card on it, uh, the, or, or even just credit on it, that, that credit can be taken out very, very quickly through the purchase of in-app purchases. I would recommend turning it off. Finally, there are some settings there that you can restrict in relation to games and particularly the game center. You might want to turn those off too. Disallowing multiplayer games or the addition of friends so that their students or your son or daughter can chat and network with other people on their iPad uh, in any kind of setting at all. Once you've made all of your changes, on restrictions just go back by tapping general at the top and once you've done that to go back into restrictions to change anything straight away you're confronted with the passcode and if your son or daughter doesn't know it then they can't make any changes and only you can turn those things on in consultation with them when they ask you if you can change things that's restrictions on your iPad my name is Mark Anderson Thank you very much.